Hi everyone, it's Sherri Ann and I'm back with another video for you today. Apologies for not having one up last week. I just wasn't really feeling it. My skin wasn't looking the greatest and I just didn't want to film video when I was like super swollen and really, really red. But today I decided to film a video for you. It's actually nighttime. I just got home from work a few hours ago and I ate dinner and I was like, you know what? I already have my makeup on. Let's just film a video, get it done. Why not? I haven't done this type of video in a long time. It's a what's in my work bag, the like winter edition, because I tend to change my bag depending, I guess, on the season more so than my outfit. I know some people do it based on their outfit. I am not one of those people. I just like to keep using the same bag every single day. So a lot of my work bags are pretty much, actually all of my bags. They're all in neutral colors that I use for work. So a brown or a navy blue, a black. You'll see this one is in this taupe color. I just like that because then it matches everything. I don't have to worry about it clashing with my outfit. To be honest, I probably wouldn't even care then. Anyway, it's just for work. So I literally haven't touched this bag. I came into my apartment, put it down, started setting up everything. and was like, I'm going to do with this video. Let's not touch a single thing so that this is a real authentic what's in my bag. My work bag currently is so, so heavy. This is the bag. Super cute. This I got during the Nordstrom anniversary sale haul. It's from BP. I'm pretty sure they still have it online. I just don't think that they have it in this color, but I will link everything down below. So I wanted a light colored bag to just kind of brighten up my outfits because I wear a lot of blacks and grays and dark denims and I just want something light. So I got this one and this is not a very structured bag. You'll see as I start emptying it out, I'll show it to you what it looks like when it's completely empty. But I typically go for structured bags for work and just in general, really. But I like that this isn't because this is still a super, like you'll see how much stuff I can really fit in this. I just whack myself in the face. So the first thing I wanted to show you is this little gal right here. I used to see these and I thought they were kind of weird. Like I didn't understand why people got them or had them on their bags. And then I saw this one at Target and I just really, really liked it. It's, I guess it could be a bag charm or a keychain. And I don't even like pink, but I just thought this one was so cute because she has glasses on. She has these tortoise shell glasses and I just thought they were absolutely adorable. There's no real place to clip this on this bag. So what I did was I just took one of the key rings that you can get at Staples and you can just put it on here and then I just attach it to the strap right here. I just put it on the strap here and then she just hangs in the front. So this bag doesn't actually really close. You do have this magnet closure here at the top, which I don't really use. And you obviously can use these to cinch it closed, but this bag is currently very full. So I don't, I'm not doing that right now either. You do have one little pocket in the back. It's just this little flap and then everything else is just open. Just a big open bag. And it's a pretty large, oh, that's all right. It's like a medium sized pocket, I guess. But the first thing I have is actually a receipt. It's a gas receipt. I paid $31 for gas the other day to fill up my car. This is my work key card. These are headphones from Bobble Bar. I don't know if they still make these. I got these at Target. They're just these gold headphones and they have jewels on them on the um, earplugs. I really like these. These are the keys to my parents' house. And this keychain I have, I got from Kate Spade, I wanna say when I graduated from college, so in 2011, and it is still holding up. I have this ticket from my hair salon. They do raffles, or they were doing a raffle, and so I just have a ticket from that. I have a USB from my office, and then I have a hair tie that does not belong in that pocket. Like I said, I did not, I didn't touch this bag at all. Literally, I just didn't touch it. So this is my lunchbox. Um, this is just what I used to bring my 
lunch and breakfast and snacks to work. It's just a Whole Foods grocery bag. And because I'm filming this on a Friday, I have my Sip by Swell water bottle. You can get these at Target. They are obviously by Swell, which makes their own water bottles, but these are $10 cheaper. And these are great though, if you don't have one or if you are still wondering what to get some people for Christmas, I think this actually would make a great Christmas present. It does everything that the Swell bottle does. It's just at a lower price and in a different size. And I think these come in more colors and prints. I know they have a ton of cute winter prints out right now. And I was so tempted to buy one the other day when I was at Target, but I had some restraint. Next, I'm pretty sure this is why my bag, the water bottle and this next thing is why my bag is so heavy. This is my budget planner and the reason i'm actually taking this right now is because in the very front of this planner i have a christmas section and so i have this first page is countdown to christmas and then it's a calendar afterwards it has things like dinner plans for the holiday season shopping list the cards you have to send and i have my list there gift ideas, ideas for stocking stuffers. That's the reason I'm carrying this around and I'm doing it because sometimes during the day I will suddenly get this idea of, yes, that is what I should get as a stocking stuffer or that's what I should get that person for Christmas and I don't wanna forget and I would rather just have it all in one place so I just take this with me and jot it down and sometimes I'll have some people who I'm sending Christmas cards to just confirm their address with me and I'll make sure I have the right one in here and this planner by the way is from recollections which you can get at michael's and those christmas inserts are from so much crafting on Etsy. next i have my kate spade wallet my id is hidden so you can just see there you go that's what i have in it right now it does get a little bulky in the card slots so i like to divide them up between the two sides i also don't have that many cards i do have some cash in here and some receipts, appointment cards for the doctor, CVS cards, for Ulta, gift cards here. Also, I just wanna point this out. This has nothing to do with what's in my bag, but the first one I bought of this, the card slot right here, where you put your, you, where you can put your ID, this, it wasn't sewn on very well, so it actually was already popping off. And I contacted Kate Spade, I called them, on the customer service and they were super super nice sent me one they overnighted a new one to me so kids babe you're pretty great next i have my ray-ban sunglasses which which ones are oh i was just wearing my wayfarers today and then i have this little cow shed pouch which there's a hair on it like i said i have this cow shed pouch and that is actually where my hair tie should go. So I'm just gonna put that in there. So I actually got this from my parents when my dad flies on United. They get a lot of these little pouch things in their business class. I don't know what they call them. They get like little pouches from United Business and this comes in it, not with all of these things, but it has cow shed, refreshing towelettes, you get a little 20% off. Oh, I didn't even know this. You get a 20% off coupon for cow shed. No idea. I have a band-aid in here. I have two hair ties. I have a cow shed moisturizing hand cream. This one is from Cora's. I think on one of his trips, he actually got a Cora's set. And so this is the pomegranate moisturizing cream. This is the Cora's shea butter lip balm. I actually don't really like that one. Nor do I really like the cow shed one because you get one of those too cow shed lip balm and then this one in the center is actually my own that i just stuck in there since i don't really love the other two and it's the chapstick candy cane you should get it it's great i love chapstick chapstick and vaseline are the best lip balms hands down ever they have one of the christmas ones or the holiday ones i guess and it's candy cane so i just went and put that one in there it's my favorite i use it all year round because i have multiple of them like I said, I really love Vaseline. I have a whole little mini tub in my bag. And then next I have my gloves. These are just these faux leather gloves that I got from Target. And I got 
the faux leather ones just because it's easier to drive with that instead of regular knit glove. They have the touch pads on your thumb, index finger, and your middle finger, which is really nice. These are great. Again, I got them at Target. I have three phones. This is work phone number one, work phone number two, and then this is just my regular iPhone. Then I have some Exoderm flare control cream for my eczema. The last thing is really random and I honestly cannot remember where I got this. I'm pretty sure it came from my parents. I think they must have given it to me on some trip we went on or maybe I just took it. I don't know. I don't remember. But it's a little pouch. And in this pouch is a little rubber ducky. A little mini rubber ducky. And I just have been taking him from work bag to work bag. It's like my little friend in my, my bag. I don't know, I honestly have no idea where this came from, I can't remember. It used to just be a, like just loose in my bag, like just by himself. But I had this extra pouch from something, I don't remember, but when I moved, I found it. So I just put him in this little mesh pouch and this is what I keep him in. So that was everything that I keep in this bag. That's a pretty good number of stuff. I've only been carrying this for a week but I actually think the quality is really nice. It's so soft, which is great. I think this is a great bag itself, just as a casual everyday kind of bag. It actually reminds me a lot of the Madewell transport tote, just that you can actually cinch this one closed and that one doesn't have that on the sides, but I kind of think it has, it kind of has that look to it. But I will link this bag down below. I'm, I'm positive that it is still on Nordstrom's website. I saw it the other day. Just I don't think it's an available in this color. But I hope you guys liked this video. And please, 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 I would love it if you guys would give it a thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel. I have more videos coming soon, including my favorites from the entire year of 2016. And I'm super excited to film those because I have had a list of that stuff for about, oh, over a month now. And I just, I just can't wait to film it. So that is it for today. And I will see you guys next week with a new video. Bye everyone.